This video will cover usage and troubleshooting for the rigid 10-inch laser miter saw, the 12-inch compound laser miter saw, and the 12-inch sliding compound laser miter saw. This video is not designed to replace your product's operator's manual. This video is here as a guide to offer clarification to key features on your tool. Always read, understand, and follow the warnings and instructions outlined in your product's operator's manual prior to use. You can also contact Rigid Customer Service for further product information. If you do not have a copy of your product's operator's manual, call Rigid Customer Service at 866-539-1710 or visit rigid.com to obtain one before you use your product. To use your rigid miter saw, plug the saw into a suitable power outlet. If an outlet is not near the saw, use only an extension cord heavy enough to carry the current your product will draw, and make sure your extension cord is in good condition. To release the saw arm, push down on the top of the saw arm and pull out the depth guide or lock pin. For common angles, positive stops have been provided on both the left and right side of the miter table. Release the miter detent and move table. Once the saw arm has been set at the desired angle, lock the miter table by securely tightening the miter lock knob or lever, depending on model. Rigid miter saws also include stops for the most common bevel angles. Release bevel lock to move arm to desired angle. Once the saw arm has been set at the desired angle, lock the saw arm by securely tightening the bevel lock knob. It is important to place the workpiece securely against the fence and table. To assist with the cut setup, the work clamp provides greater control by clamping the workpiece against the fence. However, it may be necessary to use a C-clamp instead of the work clamp to secure the workpiece prior to making the cut. When cutting long pieces of lumber or molding, support the opposite end of the stock with a work surface level with the saw table. For more accurate cuts, a laser guide is included with your miter saw. When used properly, the laser guide makes accurate, precision cutting simple and easy. Never move the workpiece or make adjustment to any cutting angle while the saw is running and the blade is rotating. Refer to your operator's manual for laser operation instructions specific to your saw. Before turning on the saw, perform a dry run of the cutting operation to make sure that no problems will occur when the cut is made. Always keep your hands outside the no hand zone, at least three inches from the blade. To cut, grasp the saw handle firmly. Squeeze the switch trigger and allow several seconds for the blade to reach maximum speed. For sliding miter saws, do not try to cut narrow pieces using the sliding feature. Slowly lower the blade into and through the front edge of the workpiece. When the saw is running, never pull the saw blade toward you or toward the front of the saw. Push the saw handle away from you and toward the bevel scale at the back of the saw. For non-sliding miter cuts, slowly lower the blade into and through the workpiece. Once the cut is complete, release the switch trigger and allow the saw blade to stop rotating before raising the blade out of the workpiece and removing the workpiece from the miter table. The rigid miter saws should provide an excellent work cut for your wood material, but there may be a time when the cut is not as good as when the saw was new. If excessive splintering of the workpiece occurs, it is most likely time to change the blade. Unplug your saw, raise saw arm, rotate lower blade guard up, and loosen blade bolt cover screw. Slide blade bolt cover toward upper blade guard to expose the blade bolt. Depress the spindle lock button and rotate the blade bolt until the spindle locks. Using the wrench provided, turn blade bolt clockwise to loosen and remove the blade bolt.
Remove the outer blade washer. Do not remove the inner blade washer. With the blade teeth point downward at the front of the saw, fit saw blade inside upper blade guard and onto spindle. Replace the outer blade washer. The double D flats on the blade washers align with the flats on the spindle. Depress spindle lock button and replace blade bolt. Turn blade bolt counterclockwise to tighten blade bolt securely. Replace blade bolt cover and tighten blade bolt cover screw securely. Lower the blade guard and then raise and lower the saw arm to ensure lower blade guard functions correctly. If the angle of your cut is not accurate, follow the instructions in your operator's manual to square your blade to the fence and to the table. Also check the miter and bevel stops to ensure that adjustments are not required. Your operator's manual will help you make these adjustments. Lasers on the rigid miter saws are adjustable, so if the laser line is not consistent with the cut line, please follow the operator's manual to make the proper adjustments. Dust bags are provided on rigid miter saws to help remove dust particles from the air and general work area. If your miter saw dust bag appears to not collect as much dust as it did when the saw was new, the bag may be full of dust. A convenient zipper is located on the dust bag to allow for easy discharge of sawdust into a trash receptacle.